Welcome back to DIY with Cam. In today's video, we're going to be building this garage wall mounted cabinet, basically a kitchen cabinet for your garage. This is my first ever cabinet. So let's get it built and see how I went about this. This is part of our garage storage solution. So let's go back a few days when all I had was a sheet of plywood. The first thing to do is to make up a little sketch of where you're going to cut each piece from on each bit of plywood. I've got two pieces of plywood here because I'm making multiple cabinets of the same size. So here I'm making my first cut and this is 30 inches long. So this is going to be the size and top of this cabinet that I'm making here. I'm making multiple of this size. I am making my cabinets 12 inches deep, so this makes it really easy when cutting across the piece of plywood on a 4 foot by 8 foot piece. Pock holes were drilled on the bottom piece and the top piece of the cabinet, and they were drilled on the outside, so when you look inside the cabinet you won't see any of the pocket holes. This also makes for a much stronger joint than drilling the pocket holes on the inside. Now we move on to the assembly process and this is where this handy block of wood on my workbench comes in handy. I was able to butt everything up against this and use my rafter square to make sure everything was square. I then attached two six inch pieces, one at the bottom, one at the top to add extra strength to the cabinet and to allow the cabinet to be mounted to the wall. This was attached via pocket hole. So some leftover fur end one by twos from my kitchen cabinet build out. Um, if you want to check out that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. But I just cut this to 11 and a half inches and I'm going to use it as a cleat just like so. And this way I can secure this to the side of the cabinet and put the shelf on top. And if I ever want to move this cabinet up or down or remove it completely, I can just unscrew this cleat or just take the cabinet straight out. This did prove to be quite tricky, but I didn't have another way to install a shelf. I didn't have a shelf pin jig, they're quite expensive. And I did the rest of the build with limited tools. Sometimes you just have to improvise and use what you have to get the job done. So I've been having a lot of issues with these door hinges. They're soft closed overlay hinges. May not be the best, so we're kind of cheap on Amazon. But, you know, this is a budget um, project. So I've got my inch and three eighths bit, um, Forstner bit, and I'm going to drill a couple of holes in each door. I have practiced a number of times to get this right. And the measurement you want to be concerned with is you want 42 millimeters from the edge of the door to the edge of the bit. And that allows the door to cover the carcass of the cabinet when it closes. at this point in the build I realized that I had really messed up. Installing a cabinet like this without a second pair of hands is really difficult. So what I was able to do was press the cabinet in against the wall, make sure it was level and drill pilot holes before driving the screws in to hold the cabinet up. You can see that it tilted down a little bit but that was just pivoting on the first screw that I had drilled in. But once I got the second one in we were all set. I then added more screws at each corner to make sure that it was secure to the wall and the stud. I could then pop my shelf in and install the doors and this cabinet was complete.